Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the old YouTube channel. Hey, today we're going to do some fun we've been wanting to do, well, for months now since we've been planning this trip to Turkey. We've been wanting to go to the Grand Bazaar. The Grand Bazaar is the oldest, biggest uh, market in the world. Basically, the original shopping mall, right? Uh, how many stores are there? 4,000? 4,000. 4,000 stores. Over 4,000 stores, we think. It's like, that's what I read. But it's insanely huge. So, Andrew, our Airbnb host, said... You have to ignore them because they're geniuses at getting you in their store. So you're supposed to basically embrace your inner ice queen. But he said that they are just geniuses at getting you into their store. They'll say anything, do anything to get you in there. So if you're not interested, you, you just got to walk by. So hopefully we'll pick it up on camera. Because if they think you're remotely interested, they will <laughs> chase you down. You guys know we love to haggle. Well, we love a bargain. So it'll be a challenge that we definitely accept. because These guys are the toughest of the tough. Like... This is expert level haggling for this one. So we may have mm -hmm. to formulate like a plan. Yeah. They say the price is a little bit higher price uh, here, this market and other places around. I know the place in the Katakoi is a lot cheaper, but some things they don't sell that we want over there. So we're gonna have to go and, ch and check out what they have. Probably be a couple days we'll be doing this. We may have to do this more you than just, one day. You can, obviously, 4,000 stores, you can't see everything. No. So we're going to try and maybe break this up a little bit. But and they're uh, closed on Sundays. So today's Saturday, so we won't be able to go back tomorrow. But like we're going to break this up. And it's an emotionally draining um, per Andrew. So it's one of those things that like we may have to have a couple days in between just to give ourselves a break. Mm -hmm. But it's a lot. It's going to be super, super cool. Here we go. One thing I forgot to tell you guys is we're trying to make it out of here back to the bazaar before it starts raining. It's supposed to rain around one o'clock today. The bazaar's covered, so we're trying to hustle to get over there before it starts. But it looks actually pretty nice outside, so I don't know. Everywhere I go, but um, it's a kind of man. He's so pleased um, that we're Americans and that we're here and that we're visiting. And um, he gave us some great advice um, of a couple of places that we're looking to go, um, things to see, historical sites, things like that. So it's so funny. There's two cement sellers in this area, and I felt GG with him and found a lot. So incredibly. He's definitely incredibly our, our, our cement man. He's our new cement man. <laughs> It's interesting, um, so he's actually, he's Kurdish, and he said it kind of quietly, so I'm guessing there's a little bit of, uh, you know, um, turmoil between the different cultures and, and and backgrounds here, so I'm not really sure uh, if that's a good thing, is like there's a lot of love, hate, a lot of inner fighting in the country, it's like, you know, kind of like there is, that's right now in the U.S., so not that much different, I think, but, uh, you know. Stay with me. At the end of the day, uh, everybody's all one people here, which is kind of great. Everybody gets along. We totally got distracted, but we have two cement here. It's kind of Turkey's answer to the bagel, but it was five lira for both. It's crazy cheap. So we're going to have our breakfast on the ferry on the way, so we'll let you know. We'll try it once we get on board. I forgot how to say this name. I never remember. You figure how to say the name because I never remember. I meant no you. Okay, our ferry, it's noon right now. Our ferry's coming at 1220. So we're gonna sit, have our cement, some water. It must be, uh, it's like mass frequent on the weekends. Yes, not. It's arrived. It was actually over there. It just moved over one little spot. So, gonna hop on. It's actually pretty high tech. They have this little drawbridge that comes up and then the gate opens automatically. I think the captain does it or something, but so it's pretty neat.
Okay, so what's the verdict here? It's good. It's like a thinner sesame bagel. Ah. I'm a fan. Yeah? I thought they had some, like you can put some spreads on them and stuff uh, at some places, so. Well, they served pieces of them with church breakfast. Oh, that's right, they did, didn't they? Yeah. So, um, it's cheap, so five, five liter for both of them is actually a pretty decent price. Yeah. And just like that, we're over in the European side. Uh, we now have to find the trolley to take it around to the Grand Bazaar. Unfortunately, man's getting a, a bit of a headache, so we don't know if it's because all the coffee that <laughs> you've been drinking. It's genuinely all the caffeine, like between the chai and the coffee. This morning's the first morning I haven't had any, and now I'm getting like spots for a migraine, and I think it's caffeine withdrawal. So I need to get some caffeine in my system. Just missed it. Well, we can wait for the next one. Right? Yeah. Don't read Turkish, but the international subway sign here in me says this one's coming in one minute and then four minutes. That's how I read that anyway. You know what I ended up paying? Why is it stopping here? This one, this one actually came this way and jumped the train from the left side to the right side. And with the opposite direction. Now this one's coming behind us, so yeah, that's weird. So we'll take this one, I guess. I don't know what else to do. Yeah, that was confusing. Like one came the opposite direction, and then it stopped and went back the same way. And this one came behind it, going this way. So either way, we're gonna wind up in the same area. Did I tell you, is it light up? No. Okay. Either way. We're heading in the right direction, which is a good thing. So we got on here, Spice Bazaar, I need to go here. Got a cleanse. I'm equipped with all the sanitizer, guys. I'm not playing this COVID game. I think Amanda thought that we this was just an entrance I did too. So she had to walk in the opposite direction. So hope she doesn't freak out. Catch up to her. Find out what we're looking for. So our Airbnb hosts recommend, they have a lot of good tips. They actually recommended this place right here. This is Hot Yazi. They do calligraphy, Turkish calligraphy. So we're gonna go and check it out. See if we can't find a souvenir for our wall. So we're not really sure. This is great. Yeah, so like, so it actually includes writing. So this is actually Turkish and this is, of course, Arabic. Um, but it has so many lira that includes their writing on it. So it's really decent prices. So there's 230. It goes up from there, but I mean, there's so many things you can customize, which is really, really cool. Can you, can you do it in Turkish? Yes. You can? Okay. This is a Turkish carrier. I think this, don't you think so? Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, this is yes, this. that's what we like. Man's going crazy and it's our first store. <laughs> I'm kidding. I uh, got two gifts, one for my niece, one for Jimmy's mom, one for me, one for the wall. So far, in a lifetime. doing pretty well and they nicely gift wrapped it too for us. I'm excited, but we're going to get a shot of this for you guys up here. This is where you come. 
Okay, now we're gonna go try to head towards Bazaar. We're at the south, no, east, southeast end of it. So we're gonna try and just wind our way there, right? Yeah. Maybe get some coffee on the way. I think we're kinda needing it already. So for reference, we just walked, there's a big tower, just got let off on the trolley. And then we walked this way, I think, way over here is the entrance to the bazaar. I need some juice because my head hurts. So. Okay, go inside, sit down. It's making it fresh. Now we're on. I got a big fancy straw. Some watermelon juice, my freshly squeezed. When we were in Dubai, pre Asia, it. This is what I drink all the time to help me stay hydrated, and it really does help. Also, the straw is like <laughs> You're gonna take it, take it all the way out. Take it all the way out. So how long it goes? No, no. Oh, this part. There you go. Look, I'm so leaving like, on the table. It's like a hookah. <laughs> mm. Oh, the meats are fresh squeezed orange juice. No matter where you're. That's good. So the longer we sat here, we got thinking, well, we're getting kind of hungry. That bagel didn't fill us up very much. And it's going to be some, quite some brain power in here. And like, strength. So he got Lama June. I got some dolma, just the, the stuffed grape leaves, and then some water. And so I think that'll get us kind of through. This actually helps a bit with my headache. I think it's hydration for me. I'll get a chai or something later. But um, we thought, get a snack before we get into the crazy... I need some strength. Amanda's been waiting for this. You guys have no idea. Oh. I love my Thank you. And then I got my Lama June here too. So it comes with all of the accoutrement here. And they wait for me to t video you. <laughs> You're just digging right in. So how's it differ than like, like say Greek ones or... Okay. And there's rice. They're a little sweeter too. Mm -hmm. I bought a roller to do this at home. We've been seeing some previous vlogs that we did, but it's, it's a cheap meal, man. It's like what two two bucks? Sometimes it's less than that. We're in a tourist area, so prices are a little more money here than they are across the across the lake, across the water. But got uh, usually use parsley and onion with it. And now I have orange tomato with it too, but probably omit those. All right, guys. This is it. We're going in. Now, don't judge us and think we're rude <laughs> until we exit. So, let's see what we find. We're a little overwhelmed already. Um, there's so many different places, and then how the guys are yelling at you to come in and check out their stuff. So. I don't know if there's like a... I told you, get our ice cream. Yeah, there's like a lot of jewelry stores over this area, but I'm not sure where the drug guys are. There's a lot of... I, I don't know what... It's probably set up. per corridor. So, I think we just start walking and see what happens, huh? Yeah. To go this way or this way? So Amanda has her eye on all of these lights. So Turkey is known for the like these little tiny like a uh, picturesque. What would you call that? It's not not Tiffany, of course. No, they're, I mean, lamps. lamps. Actually, pretty reasonable. So we're gonna try to see if we can't get one that has like three or four in it, all in the same same light. It's gonna require some haggling. We have no idea actually how much it costs. We're gonna have to go from vendor to vendor to see. Do you want that one up there? I like these big ones like this, but that's way too big for me. So one that maybe has three like that, but I don't know what color it is. I'm trying to figure it out. So what's cool is he he's able to switch out the globes. Yes, yeah, so if you like like a the metal part or chrome or silver or gold, you can switch out the globes, which is really cool. 
So that's what we're kind of doing is switching out. See what, what what's good here. He's making this poor gentleman <laughs> switch out because we first started looking at all one color, then we're looking at different colors, and now now we have so five different colors. <laughs> but I, I like that, you know, like. I didn't buy it. I'm I'm afraid to pull the trigger, guys, because there's so much here that I know the minute I leave that store, I'm going to find something else. And so it's just very, it's a lot. It's a lot. So those of you wondering how much it actually cost, um, it, it started out $75. So usually you can go half of that price. So I started at 20 maybe end up at 30 around there. Um, kind of how it works usually. And uh, oh, I was trying to get in. But yeah, so uh, the small ones are fifteen dollars, so you probably get maybe yeah, right. even that actually six or seven dollars. So it just varies. Um, but uh, we're in there who and hawing about it, and he kind of like, okay, thanks, bye. I think he's ready to be done with this. So it's hard. The first the first guy you see is also kind of hard. So. Something to note that some stores do have a uh, fixed price, so like 12 lira, 15 lira, all that good stuff. Down in the 5 lira, which is pretty good. So less than a buck for a coaster made in Turkey. Can't beat it. Amanda found a perfume shop, and they have tons of just organic uh, just oils, and they mix together to make perfume or cologne. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Number one. Number two. Which one do you like it? So, I'm a sucker for jasmine rose. I love it, and they're also incredibly expensive oils, so I didn't get that one. But he had one that's like a special blend that I actually really love, and so I got this one. It was 75 I more than I should have paid, but he was really fun. But he had some really great mood smells for Jimmy, so we're going to be back. I'm mean, definitely going to be back. 100% going to be back. They have soap that smells like just like Turkish delight in here. It looks like Turkish okay. delight, but it smells like heaven. Heaven. This is rose, oh. jasmine, yeah. lavender. I not like the old antique part. I'm not even sure what this means, but looks like there's antiques, <laughs> so it kind of makes sense. But it turned it into like a whole different type of area, smaller stalls and all that stuff here. I'll tell you, it's easy to get lost in here. Like, it all looks the same. <laughs> There's all these jewelry stores and knickknacks are selling the same thing. It's kind of overwhelming. Keep, keep saying that, but now we're going back up this hill, and we're going to a new area, I think. Because if we turn this corner, it might be the same place we just ended up in. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, we just came from over there. Now we're like we see this, like this is a whole new area. And then over here is a leather section. That's where we came in. Oh we did, didn't we? Okay. So maybe this way. Alright y'all, so I'm feeling a whole lot of overwhelm right now. Um this is crazy town. Like, this is not my first market. I'm experienced with this kind of stuff, and this is a lot. So, I don't feel like I can look because they attack you. And then I don't feel like I can buy anything because their prices are way up here, and I don't have the energy to haggle, and which is what you need to do. And so, part of me is just kind of window shopping, seeing what I want, if I want it, if it's worth it. Because there's a lot of places over in Catacoy near the apartment that have this kind of stuff. So I'm just, I'm trying to see if it's worth it for me 
to do this or not. Um, so I don't know. I mean, it's a drink and a snack and a start over. So I'm going to a place, there's a sign for a restaurant in the hallway, and actually the guy that we just talked to in one of the stalls said, this, this is good. So big kebab and stuff here, the usual, usual suspects you can see on the sign. Um, but this, this, this came out, we don't know what the story is, but this must be included. So it looks really tasty. Of course with the bread. Man, I got some soup, which is water. And then everyone knows what that is. Is it good? Yeah. I got chicken shish. I discovered that this is actual barley, not water, but it's the same thing. Mine looks amazing. And then Jimmy got good stuff too. Mm -hmm. I got the donor kebab. First time having it here in the country where it's created, so I figured it's kind of. Uh, kind of central thing to do while you're in the actual Grand Bazaar, so that's what I'm having here. I'm not sure it's potatoes or what that is, but all right, dig it in here. Not bad. Basically, some grilled meats and rice. I mean, not overly flavorful, honestly, but it's it's still pretty decent. There's a lot of flavor in the fat. There's little pieces of fat, but. I think it's, it's a lamb. Mine's real good. Lots of flavor, white meat, a little bit of the pepper. Mine's real good. Yeah, really good. Decent dinner or decent lunch. Now we're gonna go and continue on here. It's just, as you can see, it just goes on forever. So. All right, we're headed out, guys. It's nutty. So we're headed back to the train, back to the Asian side. We didn't buy much. We'll have to come back and see later on. So, done with the Grand Bazaar for the day. Well, guys, we plan on showing you the rest of the day. Uh, battery almost died, and we kind of conserve it for dinner. Problem is, this place is hopping down there. I'm talking yeah. hopping. Everybody goes out on Saturday night, but the, the restaurant we chose is right across from like a heavy metal bar. So, we thought, we'll spare you. We had to listen to it, but we'll spare you. It's weird because it's like a classy place where we went. But right across the street, they have something like a burgers and beer and heavy metal music blasting. It was weird. Really, the food was really good. Mm -hmm, really good. So hopefully we're going to recreate a salad that we tasted on Amanda's channel. I'm really uh, going to try because it yeah. was so good. But all in all, it was a good day. Uh, we do have mixed emotions about the Grand Bazaar after going to it. Not sure if we go back again. There's other places around here that are that are cheaper and easier to deal with. You don't have to fight for your life to get a good deal. Uh, and they sell so. the same things. Mm -hmm. So we felt like if we're going to buy some products, they should probably come from local people in the neighborhood that we've been living in, you know, support the community versus the Grand Bazaar because it kind of feels like it became a big tourist trap. Like they've got things marked up two, three, four times. And I know bargaining is part of the whole deal, but it's very, sorry, it's very stressful. After after having to sit there with a guy, we didn't show you this part, but having to deal with a guy getting buying me a pashmina. Um, it's like a scarf. I wanted a head cover so I could go to mosques. Yeah. But I didn't end up buying it because he quoted me like a hundred bucks, eleven $1, hundred, <laughs> like eleven $1, hundred lira, which we'll convert right here. And I'm like, dude, you're smoking something yeah. because nobody else's prices have we been have, that high. We have bought little scarves no. literally for all, all over the world for Amanda for different, different reasons, and they've never ever cost that much ever. So, um, and he knew we weren't playing that game, so locked it. Anyway, it, it kind of exhausted us, so we left. But even bargaining, like walking away, usually they'll chase you and kind of still negotiate. There they don't. They're like, yeah. you're paying my crazy price for nothing. And so it's, just don't do not do that, y'all. Yeah. You're not supposed to do that. It's not meant to do that. They're, they're scamming you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and comment down below what you guys want to see here uh, in Istanbul. For any other thing that tricks your trigger, uh, gets you excited about Istanbul, we're we'll happy to go and uh, show that for you guys. We got a big list. Yes, we do have a big list already. See, so mm -hmm. I'm hoping we'll cover everything you guys are going to say. Yes. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. or call it a night tonight. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.